Okay, good evening to you, bro. Good evening. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, and you too. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yes, But yes. thank God after the uh, international break, yeah. we're able to get back to uh, league. All right. Um, yeah. Let's talk about uh, Chelsea's uh, game today. Seemed like they were already pulling the strings, but uh, surprisingly, Arsenal equalized the game. So what are your thoughts on this uh, matchup tonight? Uh, well, 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 actually, I don't even expect Arsenal to come back. But that's what they call it. That's part of the game. You understand? Early moment, you have a kind of a chances to do magic. So that is, I, I don't know other people, but for me, I believe that uh, Arsenal will still equalize. Even when, I, when they were playing two, two goals ahead, I believe that with the way Arsenal played their game, they did not, they did not panic and they, they played play their normal game. I feel that uh, they will still have something out of the game, which is which at the, at the end of the, in the end of at the end of the day, they did. Now, now, would you say that result came as a result of their their hard work because? We all know what actually happened in that game. Sanchez kind of gave them the momentum. So what do you have to say about that? Uh, no, I don't, no, that's part of the game because mistake, if mistake doesn't happen, there's no, there definitely there won't be any kind of goal. So definitely, I feel that Arsenal, you actually, though Arsenal is in form than Chelsea team, you understand? Arsenal is a compact team. It's a complete team. So the way they play game, you know that, they, in fact, at the end of it, before the game, we're actually pushing for Arsenal to win the game. Because the way the level which I say they are playing their game this, these days. So, but uh, looking at the way Arsenal equalized, uh, I feel that uh, it has to, it's, it's down to the goalkeeper. Because normally you don't play that kind of game in a, in a situation where you see man to man in your, I mean, man, man, man marking in your, in your own area. So, definitely, I feel that the mistake is from uh, uh, the goal, in Chelsea goalkeeper. At the end of the day, Arsenal was able to capitalize on the. In fact, if you see the second goal, uh, nobody was expecting it. Just like, like a flu. Mm -hmm. yeah. So everything just happened over, like, just like a, a blink of a high, which is uh, which, which, which that's part of the game of in England. And like I, I feel that uh, they try to push for the equalizer, which they eventually did. But I, uh, the way they are going, uh, I think uh, Arsenal has a lot of things to offer for the season. Yeah, obviously. Um, now I want you to talk about Chelsea team as well because you know coming into this game and looking at how these two teams have played, were you actually expecting Chelsea to have given us now two goals ahead? Because the gameplay was just surprising from the very first minute the game started, we saw things. At first, the first half of the game, Arsenal did not even have a shot on target. So how can you talk about Chelsea's performance coming into this game as against what people as against what people believe they would have done in the match? Uh, I think uh, there was is this same uh, um, program I was saying last time I think. Chelsea actually need a, a, a poacher, a go poacher. So, but that is not there yet. You understand? They are playing game, but not in the, in the level of Arsenal. You understand? Definitely they can score goal. You understand? They can score goal, but I don't give them much uh, chances against Arsenal. But the way they play today, it shows that uh, they have something to offer for the season. So, but not people. Sh I mean, their fans shouldn't be able to expect much from them. And uh, going forward, I think they are, they, the result tonight will actually prove that uh, they can do something better. In the future, but uh, normally, when uh, a team go, when they play, when most of the players when they go for international break, coming back, it's always uh, difficult for them to gel back together because the fact that uh, everybody go for their various country to play for. So I feel that it actually has affected us not yet tonight today. So I believe that uh, maybe by the time they meet their next opponents, they will do better than what they did today. All right. So um, who is your man of the match for this uh, matchup tonight? Uh, I think I will. I will say Saka. Because if you look at what happened, well, uh, the equalizer for the Toto is a is a game of uh, you know a chances, and they, they take their chances when it matter most, which is the best thing for the team. So Asaka is the, for me, Saka is the man of the match. Forget about what uh, 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 Rice did. Anybody any player can do that, but giving a kind of deadly pass for, for equalizing, I think Saka is the best. Is the man of the match for me. All right, thank you very much, sir, for joining Yo. us. Appreciate you.